Hey guys, my name is Scubby. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play Virtual Boy games on your Android device. This is going to be a nice quick and easy tutorial. On screen right now you can see me playing some Jack Bros. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you want to do is open up your Play Store. And once your Play Store is opened up, we're going to be searching for and installing RetroArch. RetroArch is 100% free. It's a multi-emulator. It works for a couple of different consoles. What you want to do is get this installed and open it up. And if this is your first time opening up the emulator, you're going to have to allow it access to your phone storage. And this is necessary because later on, we're going to be have to locating to where our games are. So you are going to have to allow this emulator access to your phone storage. But once you're on this main menu, we're going to be clicking on load core on the very top. From here, we're going to be clicking the download core option. And then we're going to be scrolling down to the very bottom until we see Virtual Boy. Now, once you see Virtual Boy here, you're going to be installing the Virtual Boy BLVB. What you want to do is click this and then your download will begin. You can see some yellow text at the very bottom of the screen saying it'll download. But once this download is done, you're pretty much ready to play Virtual Boy games. Your next step is to click load content underneath the load core option at the top. And then you want to locate to where your games are. So to locate to your stuff, you want to click start directory, click the storage emulated or wherever you have your games downloaded. I have mine in my virtual buy folder down here. And I have my Jack Bros zip at the very top. Now, thankfully, with this emulator, you don't need to extract your games. You can load games directly from a zip. But if they come out 7-zip or .rar file, it's kind of unlikely that they would. But you can use the archiver in this case to extract your games. I'm going to leave a link down below to that in the description if you want to check that out. But I should also mention I'm not going to be showing you in today's video where to download games. But games are really, really easy to find. A quick Google search will help you out. Once you have your games downloaded and you've located your games, all you want to do is click on your game, click load archive, and then your game will load up. Now, if I flip my phone to the side, the UI will all be nice and clean like this. And you have all the options on screen that you will need. If you click the little up arrow, it'll remove the UI for a second. If you're using a controller, for example, you can use it like that. In this case, I'm going to be leaving my UI on. We have a lot of on-screen elements we can use. If we use these two circles on the top on either side, we can locate to a circle pad instead of an arrows. And you can do this on both sides of your controller if you wish. The on-screen buttons work really well. They work pretty smooth too. You also have an option to change the size of the UI. If you want to make it slightly bigger or smaller, you can click this little button right here. And if you want to go back to the retro arc settings, you can simply click the retro arc symbol on the top and go straight back into the menu. And you can do everything like that from here. Now, if we go back to our RetroArch for a second, we can have our settings over here on the right where you can change a couple of other settings. I'm not going to be getting into them too much today. They're pretty straightforward. You have your input settings here if you want to use some other settings. If you want to bind some controls to a different output, there's some on-screen display settings, a couple of other saving settings. It works really, really well. The emulator is 100% free, and it's one of those old timely emulators that's been around for a while that's really, really good, and I'd highly recommend it. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel i'm gonna leave a link down below to my paypal if you found this video helpful and you want to support me of course there's no pressure if you can't anyway guys thank you so much for watching until next time as always keep it saucy peace